In this video, we're going to look at an interesting idea for creating a control panel for your next project. Creating a homemade control panel that doesn't look homemade is somewhat difficult. The panel on this project was created using just a few simple materials, but still looks pretty good. Here's how you do it. First, you'll need a sheet of Lexan plastic. I'm using an 11 by 14 inch sheet that is 0 0.093 inches thick. Now design the shape of your front panel using your favorite graphics program. I use Corel Draw for mine. When you're happy with the results, print it out on standard paper. In this version, I'm not adding any graphic details. I'm just marking out the shape of the panel and the position of the holes for drilling. Next, cut the Lexan sheet to the size of your panel. Now, attach the drill guide to your Lexan sheet. Start drilling the holes where indicated. Here, I'm using a step drill bit to enlarge one of the holes. By gradually increasing the size of large holes, you cut the risk of cracking the plastic. Now, design the final graphics for your panel and print them out on some photo paper. I used matte inkjet photo paper from Canon. This paper works well with my Canon MP530 printer. Now, take an X-Acto knife and carefully cut out your panel. Place the printout on the Lexan sheet and use your X-Acto knife to cut out the holes. You can now begin mounting the components. Here's how I mounted the LCD display. Notice how I put one nut under the board so the top nuts wouldn't put pressure on it when tightened. And here's the final product. An added bonus to this technique is that the LCD panel is protected behind the Lexan. And there you go. An interesting way to make a nice looking control panel for your next project. Visit notesandvolts.com for more tutorials, and once again, thanks for watching.